It's 2007, and Detroit Diesel is facing extinction. Their legendary two-stroke screamers are being strangled by emissions regulations, their market share is hemorrhaging to Cat and Cummins, and industry insiders are writing obituaries for the company that once powered America's highways. But deep in their engineering bunkers, a team of diesel wizards was crafting something extraordinary. A final statement that would redefine what heavy-duty power could be. This is the story of the Detroit Diesel DD-16, the most sophisticated diesel engine ever built for American roads, and why truckers call it the silent assassin of the highway. To understand the DD-16 significance, we need to go back to Detroit Diesel's darkest hour. For decades, Detroit ruled the highways with their distinctive two-stroke engines, like the 8V71, the 8V92, and the Series 60 that could wake the dead from three miles away. These engines didn't just move freight. They announced their presence with a mechanical racket that truckers could identify blindfolded. But by the early 2000s, the EPA's tightening emissions noose was choking the life out of Detroit Diesel's traditional designs. Two-stroke engines, for all their raw power and distinctive sound, were inherently dirty. They burned oil by design, pumped out visible smoke, and consumed fuel like a drunk sailor on shore leave. While Caterpillar was perfecting their ACERT technology and Cummins was advancing their ISX platform, Detroit was scrambling to reinvent themselves. The Series 60, their last great four-stroke success, was reaching the limits of what emissions after treatment could accomplish. They needed something revolutionary. Not just an evolution, but a complete paradigm shift. Enter the DD-16 project, codenamed Big Iron within Detroit's engineering circles. This wasn't going to be another incremental improvement or a warmed-over version of existing technology. This was Detroit Diesel's moonshot, their attempt to build the most advanced heavy-duty diesel engine the world had ever seen. The DD-16 is a 15.6-liter, inline six-cylinder diesel engine that produces 600 horsepower with torque figures that will make your head spin, 2,050 pound-foot of torque. To put that in perspective, that's more torque than a Bugatti Veyron produces. But raw numbers only tell part of the story. What makes the DD-16 truly insane is how it achieves these figures. This isn't a screaming, high-RPM race engine. It makes peak torque at just 1,200 RPM and redlines at a leisurely 1,800 RPM. It's the diesel equivalent of a power lifter. Massive strength delivered with surgical precision. The engine block is constructed from cast iron, which offers the strength and rigidity needed to handle extreme cylinder pressures without sacrificing longevity. The crankshaft is forged steel, supported by seven main bearings for stability under load, and the pistons are made from steel to maintain thermal control during sustained heavy operation. With a bore of 5.47 inches and stroke of 6.73 inches, the DD-16 achieves its 15.6-liter displacement through precision engineering. The compression ratio of 17 to 1 ensures optimal combustion efficiency while maintaining emissions compliance. The inline six configuration was a deliberate choice that flew in the face of industry trends. While competitors were building V8s and even V12s, Detroit went with the straight six layout for several critical reasons. Inline engines have inherently better balance than V configurations, resulting in smoother operation and less vibration transmitted to the cab. That design also allows for more efficient packaging of emissions equipment and turbocharging systems. And perhaps most importantly, it enabled Detroit to implement their advanced turbo compounding system. Here's where the DD-16 enters science fiction territory. Most diesel engines waste about 30% of their fuel energy as heat through the exhaust system. Detroit's engineers looked at all that wasted energy and asked a simple question. What if we could capture that heat and turn it back into usable power? The answer was turbo compounding, a technology Detroit first introduced on the DD-15 and perfected for the 16. This system doesn't just use exhaust gases to spin a turbocharger, 
It uses a secondary exhaust turbine mounted downstream of the turbo that's connected through a hydraulic coupler directly to the engine's crankshaft. This exhaust-driven turbine literally converts waste heat into mechanical energy, feeding power directly back into the engine. Think about that for a moment. The DD-16 is essentially powered by two sources simultaneously. The combustion happening in the cylinders and the exhaust heat that would normally be lost to the atmosphere. It's like having a hybrid system, except instead of electric motors, you're using the engine's own waste products to generate additional power. This compound turbocharging system recovers thermal energy that would typically be lost and turns it into additional power. The secondary turbine uses the heat energy from the exhaust to spin and create kinetic energy, which is transmitted through the hydraulic coupler to the crankshaft. This provides an increase in force without using additional fuel while helping to smooth out the engine's rhythmic combustion and supply usable torque across a broader power range. Truckers who've driven both traditional Detroit two-strokes and the DD-16 describe the experience as almost supernatural. Where the old Detroits would announce their presence with a distinctive growl, the DD-16 operates with an almost eerie quietness. It's earned the nickname Silent Assassin because it delivers devastating performance while barely making a sound. This isn't accidental. Detroit's engineers spent thousands of hours in acoustic laboratories analyzing every vibration, every harmonic, every potential source of noise. The inline six configuration naturally runs smoother than V engines, but Detroit went further. They developed advanced engine mounts, redesigned the oil pan for better acoustic dampening, and even tuned the exhaust system to minimize noise signature. The result is an engine that can pull an 80,000 pound gross combination weight up a 6% grade without breaking a sweat, all while maintaining conversation level noise in the cab. It's the kind of refinement that luxury car manufacturers spend millions trying to achieve, delivered in a commercial truck engine. The DD-16's fuel system reads like a textbook on advanced diesel technology. At its heart is Detroit's second-generation Amplified Common Rail System, ACRS, operating at pressures up to 38,000 PSI in the injector. That's enough pressure to cut through steel. But pressure alone isn't enough. The higher pressure fuel is injected in variable patterns for precise delivery at the exact moment it is needed for optimal combustion. By optimizing delivery, the system improves performance and throttle response while lowering emissions, noise, vibration, and fuel consumption. The more precise combustion also reduces stress on internal components. The engine's electronic control module processes over 100 different sensor inputs thousands of times per second, constantly adjusting injection timing, fuel quantity, turbocharger boost pressure, and exhaust gas recirculation rates. It's like having a supercomputer dedicated solely to making the engine run as efficiently as possible. Perhaps the most impressive aspect of the DD-16 is how it achieves its massive power output while meeting the strictest emission standards in the world. This engine complies with 2017 greenhouse gas regulations, which are so stringent they would have been considered impossible to meet just a decade earlier. All the different engine systems work in conjunction with an EGR and Detroit's one-box exhaust after treatment technology to meet 2016 OBD criteria and 2017 greenhouse gas regulations. The one-box system consists of selective catalyst reduction, diesel oxidation catalyst, diesel particulate filter, and diesel exhaust fluid injection in one compact unit mounted downstream of the engine. Because the after-treatment system processes emissions so effectively, less exhaust needs to be routed back through the EGR system, easing its workload and improving overall reliability. The engine's low RPM, High torque characteristics actually help with emissions compliance. By operating at lower engine speeds, it produces less nitrogen oxide naturally, reducing the workload on the after-treatment system. It's a perfect example of how advanced engineering can turn regulatory constraints into competitive advantages. 
The DD-16's reputation isn't built on dyno sheets and engineering specifications. It's built on real-world performance that has left seasoned truckers speechless. One thing with these engines I'm really impressed with, how nicely they start in the cold. So, I guess Detroit's got that part figured out. Take the story of Mike Rodriguez, a long-haul driver who switched from a Cat C-15 to a DD-16-powered Freightliner Cascadia. Rodriguez was skeptical at first. He'd been running Cat engines for over two decades and wasn't convinced that Detroit could build anything to match Caterpillar's legendary reliability. But after his first cross-country run with the DD-16, he became a convert. I was pulling 78,000 pounds through the Rockies, Rodriguez recalls, and this engine just walked up grades that would have had my old cat screaming. The crazy part was how quiet it was. I kept checking my gauges because I couldn't believe an engine working that hard could be so smooth. The DD-16's low-end torque delivery is particularly impressive in real-world conditions. While other engines need to be revved to access their power band, this one delivers maximum torque at just 1,200 RPM. This means drivers can maintain highway speeds up steep grades without downshifting, improving both fuel economy and driver comfort. What sets the DD-16 apart isn't just its specifications. It's the engineering philosophy that guided its development. Detroit's engineers approach this project with a clean sheet mentality, questioning every assumption about how heavy-duty diesel engines should work. Traditional diesel engine design focused on peak horsepower numbers, often at the expense of real-world usability. The DD-16 flips this approach on its head. Instead of chasing peak power, Detroit optimized for the power band that trucks actually use, the low to mid RPM range where vehicles spend most of their operating time. This philosophy extends to every aspect of the engine's design, the turbo compounding system isn't just about adding power, it's about recovering energy that would otherwise be wasted. The advanced fuel system isn't just about meeting emission standards, it's about optimizing combustion efficiency across the entire operating range. One of the DD-16's most impressive achievements is how it has revolutionized heavy-duty engine maintenance. Traditional diesel engines required frequent oil changes, regular valve adjustments, and constant attention to keep them running properly. The DD-16 has extended service intervals to levels that seemed impossible just a few years ago. Oil change intervals on the DD-16 can extend up to 50,000 miles under ideal conditions, compared to 15 to 25,000 miles for older engines. This isn't just about convenience. It represents a fundamental shift in how diesel engines are designed and manufactured. The engine uses advanced metallurgy and precision manufacturing techniques borrowed from aerospace applications. The 24-valve cylinder head with dual overhead camshafts ensures optimal breathing, with one shaft actuating the 12 exhaust valves and the other controlling the intake valves. The head also features an integrated Jacobs engine brake with three settings for enhanced downhill control. When the DD-16 entered the market, it faced established competitors with decades of market presence. CAT's C-15 and later C-16 engines had dominated the high horsepower segment for years, while Cummins' ISX platform had built a reputation for reliability and fuel economy. But the DD-16 brought capabilities that neither competitor could match. The turbo compounding system gave it a fuel economy advantage that was immediately apparent to fleet operators. The low RPM torque delivery provided better drivability than high revving competitors, and the advanced emission systems allowed it to meet regulatory requirements without the performance compromises that plagued some competing engines. Fleet operators began to take notice. Major trucking companies that had standardized on other brands started specifying DD-16 engines for their most demanding applications. The engine's combination of power, efficiency, and reliability was winning converts, even among the most brand-loyal customers. 
The DD-16's influence extends far beyond its own production run. Technologies developed for this engine have found their way into Detroit's entire product lineup, from medium-duty applications to marine and industrial uses. The turbo compounding system, first introduced on the DD-15 and perfected for the DD-16, has been adapted for other Detroit engines. The advanced fuel injection technology has become standard across the Detroit lineup. Even the acoustic engineering techniques developed for the DD-16 have improved the refinement of smaller Detroit engines. This technology transfer represents one of the most successful examples of how flagship engine development can benefit an entire product portfolio. The DD-16 served as a proving ground for technologies that have now become industry standards. The trucking industry's response to the DD-16 has been overwhelmingly positive, but it took time for the engine to gain acceptance. Truckers are notoriously conservative when it comes to new technology, and Detroit's reputation had been tarnished by some reliability issues with earlier emissions-compliant engines. But as DD-16-powered trucks accumulated millions of miles in real-world service, word began to spread through the trucking community. Drivers reported better fuel economy, improved reliability, and a driving experience that was simply superior to competing engines. Fleet managers began to notice the impact on their bottom lines. The combination of improved fuel economy, extended service intervals, and reduced maintenance costs created a compelling business case for specifying DD-16 engines in new truck purchases. Turbo compounding, once considered exotic technology suitable only for aircraft engines, is now being adopted by other manufacturers. Advanced fuel injection systems are becoming standard across the industry. The low RPM, high torque philosophy that defines the DD-16 is influencing engine design throughout the heavy-duty segment. But perhaps most importantly, the DD-16 has proven that emissions compliance and performance don't have to be mutually exclusive. This engine delivers more power and better fuel economy than its predecessors while meeting the strictest emission standards in the world. Its 15.6 liters of displacement might seem modest compared to some competitors' larger engines, but displacement alone doesn't tell the whole story. Through advanced engineering and sophisticated technology, Detroit has extracted more usable power from 15.6 liters than many competitors achieve with significantly larger engines. This efficiency extends beyond just power output. Its fuel consumption figures are among the best in its class, despite its impressive performance capabilities. It's a perfect example of how advanced engineering can deliver more with less, more power, more efficiency, more reliability, all from a smaller, lighter package. The DD-16 isn't just Detroit Diesel's final big iron statement, it's their masterpiece. After decades of building engines that prioritized raw power over refinement, Detroit created something that delivers both in equal measure. The silent assassin has arrived, and the highway will never be the same.